So as always, welcome back to the channel. As I try to do these A Closer Walk weeklies to close out the year, I find myself in some familiar places. This story starts a couple of years ago when my wife bought me a Garmin watch for Christmas. And so I took it out of the box, I charged it up, I downloaded the app and I got that thing ready to go. And it wasn't very long afterwards, I earned a few badges and the more I wore it, all of a sudden I got a, a chime on my phone and a buzz on my watch saying I got a badge for getting my steps in three consecutive days in a row. Well, I didn't think much of that until it happened again at seven consecutive days. Then my curiosity was piqued. So I thought, when will I get another badge? So I looked at the app and it was 30 consecutive days. Did Garmin not know that 10, 15, 20, and even 25 even existed? So I thought, oh boy, here we go. So I started walking. Now at this time I didn't have a treadmill. So I walked up and down and back and forth on my road. I walked at Imes Nature Center. I walked at a local track around the church. I walked at the Townsend Greenway and here at Pigeon Forge Greenway. I walked in the rain, in the snow. I walked in the bitter cold, strong winds, and thankfully, even some sunshine. Now the number of steps kept increasing on a daily basis and that number kept getting larger and larger. And on the 30th day, I got out early and began walking. And about a mile away from my house, I received a phone call to where I ended up at the emergency room at UT Hospital. And after waiting for hours and hours, my wife was finally taken back and put in a room. And once I found out everything was gonna be okay, then out the door I went and I started walking around that hospital. I walked so much that the security guards was coming out to see what I was doing as I was pacing back and forth and up and down the hallways. But I finished the 30 day challenge and I was done. I received the badge or at least so I thought. So the next day when I got in and sat down, I knew that there was one more badge. It was for 60 consecutive days. And I told myself that I was content with 30 and that it was 4.45 in the afternoon and that the sun would be setting in an hour. And I had a long ways to go to get my steps in for the day, just to let it go, just let it go. But before I knew it, my shoes were on and this big doofus was up and out the door walking. I walked before work and after work and just any time that I could. Finding the time to get that many steps in. Oh, did I tell you those steps kept increasing daily? Yes. Well, finding the time to get that many steps in in a day, along with everything else, was probably the hardest part of this challenge. I battled through knots in my calves, to waking up with calf cramps, to sore shins. I even got this weird bruise that just come up out of nowhere. I didn't hit anything or nothing hit me. It just came up from the inside, but I kept walking. I even walked during an Arctic blast when it was five degrees outside with 30 mile per hour winds. And when I turned the corner and that wind hit me in the face, it was unbearable, but I kept walking. Even at my lowest point, walking in the pouring rain with my wife's Barbie pink and gray umbrella. <sighs> but I kept walking. But I did it. I completed the 60 day challenge. And for what? Did I make the news? No, but I did get this badge. Well, at least they call it a badge. It's really just a picture on my phone that no one's ever going to see. Some even say it was meaningless, but it meant something to me. So what's the moral of the story? That's the walk that I'd like to have with my God. The Bible says that God is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. 
And now I'm not talking about a picture on a phone either. I'm talking about something of real substance, of real significance. But even more so, what would it mean to hear the God of the universe, my Lord and Savior, the one that gave everything for me to say, well done, my good and faithful servant. I'd like to find out.